ex, ex, accent, accent. By the time I landed at OR Temple, I was losing my mind. I like walked in arrivals, the woman was there at customs, welcome back to South Africa, sir. I was like, yes, I'm back. <laughs> Same old Trevor. <laughs> Nothing changed. <laughs> Quite crazy. Because I love, I love accents, I really do, I love accents. I like learning languages, and so obviously accents are a byproduct of that. I've learned over time, that even if you can't learn a language, an accent is a great way to communicate with somebody in your own language whilst trying to bridge the gap. You know, you learn somebody's accent, you communicate more effectively. The thing is though, you have to learn the accent in the right way. Right? If you're going to speak to someone in their accent and you do it in the wrong way, you might come across as racist. You've got to be very careful about this. Uh, white people in South Africa often fall into this trap. Yeah. <laughs> It happens at petrol stations quite a bit. <laughs> See people driving in with their friends, talking normally, sitting in the car. Oh, you know, so, I mean, if, if we get all the numbers together, marketing should be behind this. It should be a breezer, you know. HR has stepped up, and it's going to be it's gonna be a great year. And look, we, we try and make sure that... It, oh, oh, sorry, hold on. <laughs> Hello, Baba! <laughs> hey, shop, shop, man! Please put Lapo full tanky, eh? 95, unleaded, yeah. Also, check our tires, eh? Pressure, pumpy, pumpy, not too much, eh? 2.2, okay? Yeah, good jobby, yeah, sharp, sharp, donkey boss. <laughs> don't, don't do that. He's a grown man, he's been pouring petrol his entire life. He knows what you need. Just talk to him like a normal human being. 